after an event as brutal and bloody as May 16th was, it's only natural to have a moment of self-reflection, to look inward and realize new limits, to realize new goals, and to reevaluate your standing. So on June 13th, join us, 912 Red River Mohawk, as we have a realization of mortality. Personal animosity between Darren Childs and Scott Summers put it up playing to his advantage. He's trying to make it. It's, it's a bit of a homer pick. I'll take Showtime Scott Summers right here. Look at this. Showtime Scott Summers and Darren Childs working together to eliminate Gary J. Oh my god, do you know what that is? Painful? It's something else. It was a tag team they used to use that move all the time. Oh my gosh. I thought Gary J had the advantage, but he may have made a poor decision in trying to attack both of those guys at once. As him set up. Let him get rid of each other, like I said. They look Gary broken. muscles him off. Here we go. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> trying to eliminate him. Up and over. Darren Charles hit the first shot. Darren Charles over the door. That's how you win a battle royal. Smart. You stay on the fringes, and you are the man who's standing tall dead. Gary J, you're first. ACW. There you go, Barry. I think it's pretty safe to say Gary J just went viral. Gary J makes his first Anarchy Televised Championship defense in an internet exclusive against Slim Seth. What you're looking at is the first Anarchy televised champion, me, Gary J. That homeless guy, sure, I might be homeless, but I have this. Maybe I'll pawn it, get myself a house, but I don't think I will. You know why? Because I go on this belt and this face to be all over the internet. I already am, but I want it national, global, international putting everybody on notice right now. The Anarchy Televised Champion Gary J is coming. We're gonna rock, we're gonna roll, and nobody's gonna stop me, and you can bank on it. In a match that was scheduled to take place May 16th, Cowboy James Claxton will go one-on-one -on -one with the star of misfortune, Chris Conine. On the May 16th show, High Roller Hayes made quite the impression on the ACW office with his anarchist-like activities. And if it walks like an anarchist and quacks like an anarchist, it must be an anarchist. So on June 13th, High Roller Hayes and his partner in the Dynasty of Perfection will take on Brother Luther and Joey Figueroa. It was one year ago at the realization of mortality that Robert Evans made his debut in ACW and one year later, the air of excellence is as strong as ever. So on this, Robert Evans' one year anniversary with ACW, he's asked to face the man he faced in his very first match, Jakus Pliskin, a man he's never beaten, a man that defeated him for the ACW U30 title at the Lone Star Classic. So will realization of mortality be a celebration for Robert Evans or will Jacob Spliskin recapture ACW gold? On June 13th, Spiro will be in attendance and he has a major announcement concerning the takeover. ACH asked the ACW office for a title match, but he didn't specify which title. So while he'll get his wish, it won't be for the ACW U30 title like he might have hoped. No, it'll be against a man fresh off an appearance at the IWA King of the Death matches. It'll be a man fresh off a brutal battle with Jimmy Jacobs. It'll be against Big Japan's badass Masada for the ACW World Hardcore title. In a feud that's been brewing since early 2008, 
basically since the inception of both teams, the Smurf Nation and the Submission Squad. A feud that took an ugly turn when the Submission Squad captured the ACW Tag Team title. A feud that's developed into a territory turf war. So Texas's team of the Smurf Nation will take on St. Louis's representatives and the Submission Squad in a six-man flag match. Two men that have been fighting their entire career. Two men that seem destined to fight forever. And I can guarantee you, this match will not be the end of the war. But if the Anarchy Televised Battle Royal was any indication, then this match will be a huge battle. Darren Child takes his team of WCW Tag Team Superstar Crusher Kong and the Lost Boys against Showtime Scott Summers team of Brent Masters and Matt Fitchett, collectively known as Flippy Shit, and Chris Wolf. In a little bit of American Joshi action, fan favorite Lily Mae takes on Athena, who's found a new attitude since joining the Submission Squad. Here at ACW, we've never viewed our women wrestlers as just girls. The members of the ACW American Joshi Division have always been viewed as competitors, as professional wrestlers, and we've never used their gender to hold them back. So who would we be to use Davey Vega's gender to hold him back from his dream? On May 16th, Davey Vega pinned Rachel Summerlin and earned the opportunity to prove that he is better than the ACW American Joshi Champion. On May 16th, Five Star Amanda Fox made quite the splash in the ACW American Joshi division. But Lady Poison left a pile of wreckage reminiscent of George Romero's Night of the Living Dead. And we're not sure why Lady Poison has returned to ACW, but there's definitely a reason. And June 13th, Amanda Fox will go one-on-one -on -one with Lady Poison. Sean Vex faces his biggest test to date as he takes on Matthew Palmer receiving his first shot at the ACW Heavyweight title. JT LaMotta, a man that feels he deserves the ACW Heavyweight title, and a man that's been involved in the biggest feud in pro wrestling today. A man who's made huge splashes in pro wrestling Gorilla and Dragon Gate in Japan. A man who recently debuted in AAA in Mexico. At Realization of Mortality, Austin, Texas, you will realize El Generico. June 13th, ACW presents Realization of Mortality, 912 Red River, Mohawk. Doors are at 515, special pre-show starts at 530, and the main show goes on at 6 o'clock. For tickets and further information, please visit www.anarchychampionshipwrestling.com.